Hi, Crab. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Liz. Should my ears be burning, as Grandma always says? Ah, uh, well, I gotta go because I gotta drive ahead of me. It's good to see you, Liz. You too. Sorry I missed you at breakfast. Why did you? Well, I know I should have left a note, but you see, with everybody finishing papers and cramming for finals, if you want to use a terminal, you have to get the computer lab really early, so... Do you have to sleep there, too? I checked. You weren't in your room. You spent the night with Lucky Spencer, didn't you? Yes. Which, obviously, you intend to do whenever you please, is that it? Sometimes I can't sleep. Sometimes I get scared. So you leave the house for God knows where all by yourself in the dead of night? Maybe this doesn't make sense to you, but I'm not hurting anybody. And if you try to stop me or threaten again to have us arrested, the next time I go, I'm not coming back. And you won't find me. You don't like being threatened. Neither do I. Does it ever happen that you can't fall asleep all night long, no matter what you do? Or do you ever wake up from a horrible dream, and you think that it must be almost morning, but it's really only midnight or one o'clock? And you don't want to go back to sleep because you're afraid you're going to have that same dream oh. again? I know so well what that's like. I mean, insomnia can be maddening and, and ruinous to your health. But there are ways it can be treated. By what? A prescription? You think it's better to give me drugs than let me go to somebody who understands why I'm too scared to go to sleep? And who can then talk me down and make me feel safe again? Why can't I be that person? Because you just can't, Grant, and we both know it. Your answer is always to tell me to think of something else. Well, you know what? I would if I could, but I'm not you. Well, what does that mean? I can't make believe that I was never raped. Is, is that what you think I've been doing all these years? Oh, I am getting a little fed up with being treated as if I've been a psychological cripple for most of my adult life. I know very well what happened to me. And I kept my mouth shut because that's the way the world wanted it then. Wives didn't accuse their husbands. I didn't lose sight of reality. That was reality. But I didn't become some emotional, pathetic wreck because of it. I have been happy. I have been successful. I have loved and been loved in mind and body. And I sleep just fine. But now you want me to go back and what, wail about the injustice of it all? No. No, I lived it once, and it's done. At least it's done enough for me. Is that what you want from me? I love you, and I admire the life you live. But do you really want me to feel as alone as you did then? I will, um, I'll tell you uh, the biggest problem I have right now. You lied to me about last night. I'm sorry. I, I guess I just didn't want to make you upset. Upset me? Let me be upset. That's what I do best, and I get over it. But you know, aren't you the one, darling, who said that we can't get past things if we never discuss them? Yeah. I am. Mm. I'm going to go meet Bucky now. Instead of going to school? We only have review classes this week. Ah, oh, so you're skipping them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I wish you wouldn't. I won't be out all night. Probably till after dark, but Lucky's gonna walk me home. Mm -hmm. So there's no use making dinner for two, is that it? Probably not. I'm sorry I lied. I kind of got into that habit to get me out of trouble. Never really worked, though. But you never do, and you're right. It's the one thing that keeps us on solid ground. Don't cry, Graham. Oh, Elizabeth, I just get so... I get so afraid for you.
All right, tomorrow at three in the park, but don't think the kid's gonna be out of my sight for more than a millisecond. Thank you, ex bro in law I missed breakfast and didn't work. Your grandmother knew you got that last night? I shouldn't have lied. Well, you shouldn't have done it. You said last night you didn't mind. Mind you showing up? I didn't. But I mind the idea of you being out so late all alone. Oh, why do I even have to think of that? I used to feel safe wherever I was. I wasn't afraid of anything. My biggest worry was that Sarah was going to catch me wearing her clothes. I'm afraid all the time, except when I'm with you. The rapist did that to me. Mr. Murray did that to me. You found something out. You don't think it's him? Well, I hung out in this old neighborhood. Thought I might pick something up. Got two lawn mowing jobs, 17 bucks. One of the houses is right next door to where Murdy used to live with his wife. There was this kid there. He was in the middle school, I think he Broke his leg playing soccer. You ready for this? Well, he said that uh, he heard him fighting one night. Mrs. Murdy uh, was trying to leave, and, and the door was open. He said he heard uh, he heard her saying, "No, I, I don't want to. Don't make me." And uh, door shut. That's all he heard. So finally, we know. It's up to me to make sure he never rapes anyone again. You have nothing to take to the police. I mean, you never saw Murdy's face. You can't say for sure it was his voice. But what if we can get him to admit it? Or even get him to try it again? I'm not letting him anywhere near you. But if he did and you were a witness, that'd be good enough for the police, right? To make him admit it, he'd have to get flustered and slip up. You know what, maybe... Maybe if we got him back at the park, where it all happened. You can be hiding, listening. Oh, God, I, I hate the thought of being around him. Then forget it. Don't do it. No, but what if it could work? Nothing else has. Now, look, if we could get him out there and you could stand it, I can make sure he will not touch you. I can't protect you this time. <laughs> 